Hey everyone, it's One Wish. We are back with episode 7 of the Collection Log series. If you missed the last episode, we managed to get the Hill Giant Club, the Bryophyta Essence, the Ancient Sumerial Outfit, the Shaman Mask, and a few Clue Scroll rewards. Today I'm taking it easy trying to get the big swordfish and the giant shark. According to this guy, he checked the old school wiki and the fishing boost doesn't seem to do anything if you're over level 99. I haven't checked for myself to see if it's true, but I don't really see this guy having any reason to lie to me. What is it with everyone at the fishing guild trying to catch swordfish or sharks barehanded? If you didn't know, the dragon harpoon actually increases your catch rate by 20% compared to using a regular harpoon. I'm assuming fishing barehanded is the same as using a regular harpoon, but the only difference is you get strength and agility experience. This place is so annoying sometimes, all the shark spots near the bank have a habit of disappearing once in a while, usually when that happens I just switch to swordfish, I'm not really a fan of using the other spot as it's quite far away from a bank, but then again I'm just probably being lazy. It's time to sacrifice some more god eggs to the woodcutting guild shrine, enjoy the music. Oh shit, we just got another piece of the evil chicken legs. That's another dupe in case you're wondering why no collection log popped up. Let's take a quick peek at the log. So we have two evil chicken legs, two feet and one top. So all we need now is the evil chicken head to complete the outfit. It's time to go do every Iron Man's favorite activity, Pyramid Plunder. This place brings back so many memories from like 2006. This used to be the best thieving training method. I literally haven't done thieving here since I was a kid and RS3 used to be RS2 and on this account I actually got 99 thieving just AFKing RD Knights. So there's two ways to get the Pharaoh Scepter, firstly by searching the chest and the other way is by searching the sarcophagus. The drop rates are different too for each room, for example searching the chest in the last room is 1 out of 778 compared to searching the chest in room 1 which is 1 out of 4054. I just changed the left click option on my Scepter and the Mummy which will make this slightly more easier. Gotta love rune light. Every game I get enough artifacts to charge my Scepter so I don't need to worry about charges. I can't believe back in 2006 this Scepter only used to hold 3 charges. I checked the wiki, if you completed the Desert Diaries back in 2015 it would hold a maximum of 8 charges. Then in 2022 they changed it again, having the Elite Diary done will allow you to hold 100 charges at a time. Of course the other tier diaries allow you to gain more charges too, not just the elite. I really did pick a good time to start this grind, I would hate to be an iron man trying to do this without a Skepta than having to pick one of these four doors to enter and then sometimes getting stunned by the mummy. I decided to switch to a crowded world, while I'm searching the chest someone else can be searching the doors for me then when I'm ready to make my move I know exactly which door to go through. While it looks like someone's about to die, I'm pretty sure that guy's a bot. Okay, this place is definitely full of bots. So many accounts with similar usernames, combat levels, and all of them have over level 100 thieving. I get the Skepta is worth like 3 to 5 mil, but surely this can't be that good of a money maker for a bot farm. I needed to take a break from Pyramid Plunder. That place was driving me insane. Kinda lonely too, as there's not many real players around. Level up, 103 fishing, we are way over the drop rate for the giant shark now, but no spoilers. Looks like we just got ourselves a big swordfish, let's go check the bank to see how many we fished in total. We fished 2918 swordfish and the drop rate is 1 out of 2500, so not that bad, unlike the big shark I'm struggling to get. Just doing some clue scrolls that I got from fishing, looking at the world map I'm confused, when did they add that to the game? Before there wasn't even an ocean there, it was just like a blank screen or blanked out even. Wow, this is the first time I've seen this area in the game. I'm guessing this is for when Desert Treasure 2 comes out. <laughs> oh, this chat between me and my boy had me in stitches. Wow, it finally happened. Yes, we got the big shark. This was literally one of the longest grinds I've done so far. I actually got to the point where I thought I was never going to get it. And I kind of thought to myself, maybe it's time to give up. 
over 16,000 sharks fished. By the way, I didn't use my rod as blessing or spirit flakes either, so this is 100% accurate. How sad is that? I spent over 100 hours fishing sharks and I only made 7.8 mil. I remember when sharks used to be worth 1k each, but I can't complain as this was an AFK grind. That's another hunter level, 107. That's a lot of experience to get just from doing birdhouse runs. I never did bother to check to see if the rogue's outfit works at Pyramid Plunder. According to this Iron Man, it has no effect here. Decided to take another break and go chop some redwoods. Wow, okay, I didn't see that one coming, but we actually got the beaver pet. So we got this pet at 28.1 mil XP. I definitely earned this one. I can't remember what day it was, but I was talking to an Iron Man. He was over 70 mil XP with no pet. I'm really glad I'm not him right now. I need to find myself a new AFK activity. I'm kind of thinking I should try runecrafting at Zaya for the runecrafting pet. Just doing a quick birdhouse run, and this has to be the first time I've ever seen someone splashing on Fossil Island. What a cool place to do it. I bet hundreds of players run past this guy every hour. Level up, that's 108 thieving. By the way, most of my thieving XP past 99 was from Prif Alves, in case you thought I was trapped in Pyramid Plunder for over a month. It looks like One Wish just became the new pharaoh of the Alcarid Desert and he has the Skepta to prove it. According to the wiki, as soon as someone gets a Skepta, they automatically get kicked out of the pyramid. And if your inventory is full like mine, the Skepta goes on the ground and you only have 30 seconds to pick it back up. Just doing some Nightmare Zone as I need to imbue one of my rings. This is actually the first time I've used Absorption Potions and Overloads. I'm getting like 1.4 to 1.5 million points an hour and over 80k combat XP. It's about time to imbue the Ring of the Gods. Since the Wildy update, this ring has crashed from like 15 mil all the way down to 7 mil. I didn't realize at the time, but apart from the defense and prayer bonuses, you get the effects from the Holy Wrench too. It's time to go after the Ghoul Champion Scroll. Like all the other Champion Scrolls, the drop rate is 1 out of 5,000. Sadly, the ghouls are singles combat, but this spot that I'm standing in right now is blocked by gravestones, which allows the cannon to tackle the ghouls at once, so it's kind of like being in multi-combat. Another sad thing about ghouls, they don't even have a single item apart from bones and the champion scroll. If I was a low-level player and I had this as a slayer task, I would be pretty upset right now. Even the salve amulet doesn't work on ghouls, which seems kind of strange because they do look like undead creatures. Nice try boy pretending to be the drill sergeant NPC. Of course it didn't work on me as I have him on my friends list and his name is highlighted in green. I just bought the Venator bow and it doesn't seem to work here. Of course this is singles combat but I thought the bow might have worked in the safe spot that I'm standing in. I really don't like the fact that the bow needs charging then on top of that it still needs ammunition or arrows to be able to fire a shot. Don't mind me, I'm just currently getting worshipped by my loyal followers. They're practicing their mime skills for an upcoming show, or maybe they've just been hitting their crack pipe a little too hard. It's not every day you see a dragon impling. It's currently stuck in the corner, so maybe I should go grab myself some runes. Gotta love the dark lore spell, and what do we get? Some dragon javelins. I was kinda hoping for a clue scroll. We just hit 20 million fishing XP. I had to take a break from ghouls as I was over the drop rate and struggling to get the champion scroll. About to get a new milestone at Hespori, 400kc. I really do love this boss, it's just a nice little daily activity to do. Quest complete, 150k XP and now we have access to the Phantom Muspa boss. This is the first time I found a shooting star. Guess I'll AFK some stardust as I'm even more over the drop rate for the ghoul champion scroll. No spoilers. Back at ghouls and we have killed over 10,000 and still no champion scroll but I refuse to give up. Took another break to play some clan wars. This guy's going around paying people to kill someone he doesn't like. He paid me 2 mil now he's offering another guy 1 mil. This place is so toxic. This place is pretty wild. If you do anything to upset someone by killing them or just saying something they don't like, they will literally end up ragging you for hours on end. Level up, 105 range. Don't ask me why I'm back at barrels. I was just curious and wanted to test out the bofa here and see what it's like. I find it so interesting that there's so many people here using the salve graveyard teleport. 
I've had so many people like this guy saying good luck or saying what KC are you at? I think it's kind of wild how many random people I've spoken to during this grind. I need someone to pinch me, slap me or just do anything to me right now because I'm not sure if this is actually happening or if this is real. I can't believe one champion scroll has taken us over 20,000 KC to obtain. Let's go get screwed over with another champion scroll, this time we'll go after the hobgoblins. I'm in Hasidius using the island located next to the sand crabs, this literally looks like the same island at the crafting guild. The only difference is this island has way more hobgoblins and unlike the ghouls there's no safe spot so I'm just going to put auto retaliate on and let the cannon do most of the work for me. Did we really just get a key drop? I don't even want to check the wiki because I bet the drop rate's going to be something ridiculous. No way, not a second key drop. That could have been the champion scroll right there. Trolling me at this point, that's our third key drop. Well, we're having some very strange RNG, that's key number four. The hobgoblin champion scroll is mine. This is like killing ghouls all over again. It took us over 17,000 kills. We got a lot of Raynar seeds too, which probably paid for most of the cannonballs. For some reason, my rune light tracker loot from the hobgoblins has disappeared and I have no idea why. According to Reddit, it filters out inactive loot after 90 days from a certain monster or activity. Someone in the game said a similar thing too. How very strange, it hasn't even been close to 90 days so I still have no idea what's going on, I guess I'll have to remember to take a screenshot after every grind I complete. Next stop on the list, goblins in Lumbridge, I will be letting the cannon do all the work for me again, they only have 5 HP so this will be pretty easy. They do drop beginner and easy clue scrolls but personally I don't think it's worth picking them up and having to keep coming back. This place definitely brings back memories from 2005 when I was a kid and everyone was killing goblins in Lumbridge. Back then the game was way more popular and every world was crowded. At first I thought I wouldn't need to use ranging potions and rigor but then I noticed that the cannon was hitting 2s, 3s and sometimes zeros. so having that definitely makes a huge difference. Yay, we got the Goblin Champion Scroll, now we just have to have a look around to see where it landed. Sadly no screenshot, but the last time I checked we was over 10,000 Goblin kills. We're not having the best of luck with these Champion Scrolls, but this was a super AFK one. I wasn't paying attention as always, but we achieved a new milestone, 600 million overall XP. New milestone, 110 mil cooking XP. Level up, 118 farming, so close to that 120 cape that doesn't exist in old school runescape but does in runescape 3. I have no idea what's going on with this the messenger, he keeps disappearing and reappearing, he's literally been doing it for the past hour trying to talk to some other player that's cooking here. I'm assuming this is from a quest or something along those lines. Level up, 121 cooking achieved. Another milestone, 120 mil cooking XP. Oh shit, we just got 30 million hunter XP. Level up, 122 cooking achieved. New milestone, 130 million cooking XP. Oh no, not another milestone, 140 million cooking XP. Level up, 123 cooking achieved. Decided to do a Zami trip with my boy. Actually, he was streaming at the time when I was like, what are you doing? Then he said Zami and I was like, thanks for the invite. I must admit, God Wars bosses are so easy and AFK when you have someone tanking for you, such a laid back activity. We didn't get any unique items from Zami, but I did manage to get myself a hard clue scroll. That Zami trip motivated me to do some PVM so I thought I'd go kill Artio even though it's the weekend and most likely crowded with other players and PKs. I'm so lazy instead of doing the freeze method I just decided to face tank. I got the idea from a friend when I watched his video. I must admit this is pretty AFK and relaxing. Dragon pickaxe. I didn't expect that. It's crashed from like 8 mil all the way down to 2.5 mil but money is money and I will happily take it. Love it when Callisto drops food and restores, that's another 2-3 to three more AFK kills. Level up, 106 range achieved. Yo, you gotta be fucking kidding me, that's like 4 kills later, another dragon pickaxe. Run one wish, run, oh my god no, as if he just snared me when I'm one tile away from safety, lucky son of a bitch. Maybe we can still escape. Of course he had the crossy, explains why it took him so long to spec me. That guy is a fucking amateur. I literally got all the way from Artio's cave to Farak's enclave with only two pieces of food while he was attacking me the entire way. 
If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.